Hey guys, it's Stefan from Tutorial Australia, and as you can see now, I did get a recorder for my Windows uh, computer, so if you have suggestions for Windows as well, leave a comment, because I do have some programs on Windows that I can do some uh, tutorials for. But I got a suggestion from a subscriber today or yesterday uh, about mouse sensitivity, because he just got a recently got a new mouse, and his sensitivity was either too slow or too fast. So today I'm going to show you how to change your sensitivity for your mouse for stuff like gaming, so it's basically how fast your mouse goes around the screen if you can see now. So what I'm going to do is click start or the windows button and click control panel. And then you'll get it with this. If not there will be because uh, I have a uh, Vista it's in uh, kind of like folders but if you have XP then they'll be uh, just in icons. So click mouse or if it's an icon click a mouse it'll be around here. So click mouse and then this will come up and you have a lot of different settings to start. Uh, these are the first ones we'll go through. So the button configuration is basically which one is the right click and uh, which one is the primary click. So you can change it, but usually you'd have it on the left finger, but depending on uh, what hand you're using. But if you're a right hander, I suggest using the same one. Don't change much. Uh, Windows usually pre-installs the best mouse settings, but if you do get a new mouse, then I highly suggest you go into this mouse properties. So you can do the double click speed as well. So this is how fast like folders open. It has an example here, so at the moment mine's fine because it opens and closes. But if yours doesn't, then you can change it to a bit slower. And there's pointers. So these are the different things you can change, but it's best to use the normal one, the normal select. And there this is the one we're looking for at the moment. This is the selected pointer speed. At the moment it's right in the middle, so this is mine is fine but if you want to change it to fast so it goes a lot faster now and you can also change it to slow and you see it's I'm kind of dragging my mouse off the mouse pad at the moment but it still hasn't moved very far so if you're worried now what happened to your mouse you can just don't worry click cancel if it's all fine click cancel and leave it as it is but if you did get a new mouse then uh, go through these settings to find a good one for you so I'm going to click cancel and open that again because mine is fine and the one last thing you can do is the wheel uh, this is how fast your wheel can go down and up. So on web pages, if you see it's pretty slow, you can change it. So basically, it's your wheel on your mouse, if you have one, flicking up and down to scroll past web pages and programs. You can change how fast the following, uh, how many scrolls the following number at lines at time. So if you want to change it to more, just change the number higher. And if you want to change it to like less, change it to lower. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, horizontal scrolling. You don't really use that too much, but it's mostly the vertical scrolling. And then that's your hardware. So if you have a new mouse, you can uh, attach a new mouse if it's a wireless one. But for at the moment, it's already det detecting mine. As you can see, my mouse pointer is fine for the moment. So remember this. This is your pointer speed here. It's in the pointer options tab. And this is how fast it will sway back and forth. This is basically the one that you want to focus on the most but you can change these depending on what hand you use and the double click speed. So hopefully you enjoyed that little tutorial, it's just a little uh, kind of basic one, it was just for one subscriber, you don't have to watch it if it wasn't for you, it was just for this guy, I thought I'd do it because uh, I like suggestions, so if you have a suggestion don't be afraid to leave one, I will do some more on Windows because I did find out after trying to do different export settings I finally got a good export to upload to YouTube with my microphone and the recording of the screen. So yeah, leave a comment, leave a like, share the video around so I can get noticed. Only around 45 subscribers at the moment, but that's going good for only a couple days. So yeah, I'll keep uploading some more Windows tutorials as well, as well as Macs. So yeah, I'll see you guys later.